You guys sick of these shower doors? Noisy, squeaky, they rattle, hard to clean, the shower track. Well, if you are, stick around because we got a nice solution. I'm taking these out and I'm gonna replace it with something that I think you're gonna like. Everybody. Welcome back to Why Wait. I'm Chris and today we're finally going to get rid of these shower doors which we really just can't stand. There's definitely a lot of cons that go with these shower doors. Number one, they weigh about 50 pounds. Oh. Yeah, these are heavier than they look so we're going to get rid of that weight. Number two, they just make a lot of noise. hard to kind of open sometimes they're a pain in the butt to keep clean i don't even have to talk about the shower tracks i know that's a problem for everybody getting a brush scrubbing them all the time just really not happy with those plus it just takes up a lot of room i know a lot of people have switched to a shower curtain but me personally i'm not a big fan of a shower curtain either too often especially with kids the shower curtain gets pushed out you get water on the floor or sometimes when you're taking a shower with the shower curtain because of the draft, the shower curtain always likes to kind of suck and stick to your body. So those are just a few of the reasons why we want to get rid of these doors. Again, pain in the butt to clean, just extra time cleaning, the shower tracks, the noise, the weight. So today's solution is we're going to be installing the Nautilus shower door by a company called Stoic. These things are pretty cool. Let's go ahead, start taking this down, taking this out, and then go ahead and film the process of installing this new retractable shower door that I think you're gonna like. Not too difficult to get the old one out. I'm just gonna show you the few screws you gotta remove and then you can just pull everything out and get it cleaned up. You're gonna have two screws at the top, which may require a square bit, such as the two that I have up here, one there, one here. And then you're gonna have one, two, three screws on the side track, which are to removed on this side. And same thing on this side, you're gonna have a screw in there. And these are just Phillips heads, one up there, one down at the bottom. Remove the screw in the track here, and then we should be able to pull all this up. You may have to do a, a small little cut on your caulking right here. Oddly enough, they have some caulking on the outside, but they didn't put any on the inside. So the water can actually just get right behind here, which it probably has been and go right underneath your track. But let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Yeah, these are heavier than they look. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's at least 50 pounds. If not, maybe 60 picking this up. Let's get these out of here. Okay, so just a heads up, these were really hard to get out. Um, this one fought me really bad. And the one down on the bottom here was extremely hard to get out. It was stripping. Um, had to use some liquid wrench. Had to try some turns with the plier. Uh, it It was just really, really hard to get out. So... Just a heads up on that, they're not the easiest thing to get out of there. And then after removing the bottom track, you can see what we're left with underneath it here. Pretty gross, pretty nasty. As we expected, water was getting under there. We knew that. But we're gonna go ahead and clean all this up. That's gonna be probably the hardest job of the whole thing. There is still two screws left on each side and these screws will be behind, behind the metal track about right here. Um, obviously, obviously that's to, I guess help hold the shower itself in. But if I put that new system in, I'm probably gonna go ahead and remove these two just so they're out of the way. These are items I always have laying around anyways. I've had both these goo guns. I got some metal scrapers, I have some plastic ones, got some rags. We're gonna see if we can clean all this up, get all this old caulking off here and just get it nice and clean okay so we have everything removed and everything cleaned up real nice you can see how much better this looks all the old silicone and nasty gunk and, and go ahead and take your time 
do that part right. Prepping is always important. Get it cleaned up, take the time, get a scraper, get everything cleaned up a little well. But now here's a dilemma. We have two screws left that were behind the old tracks, one on each side, one up here and one down here. And obviously we have the holes from where the old tracks were at as well. So with the new system, I can take this and I can install it right about here. And then this will be inside the shower. I'll have to caulk this and this. And I'll have to seal those up. And just knowing that those are in here will kind of bother me. It doesn't look as good with the holes and having the caulk on them. So what I think I'm going to do is actually install this right over the existing holes in this screw. I'm going to take these two screws out. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this and drill it right back into here and screw these into the wall along with the adhesive tape that comes on the back. I just feel that by screwing it into the wall, it's just going to actually give it a little bit better support than just some adhesive tape. And it also gives me a little bit of peace of mind and my OCD, knowing that all the holes and screws and everything will be covered up. And, you know, once we go ahead and caulk this inside edge, all this will be sealed up as well. So you can go either route. I've seen some other videos. Nobody really ever addresses this. I just think putting this exactly in the same spot where the old track is at, hiding all of this is the way to go. And not only that, but by adding a screw into this, it's just going to make, make it a little bit more rigid going down the road. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just a little extra step. You guys don't have to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and knock that out right now. All right, guys, after much debate, I went ahead and decided to leave this screw in. I did take one out. When I took this screw out, there was just too much wiggle room. Um, on the shower up here. You can tell, I mean, these two screws that were behind the track, they were definitely holding the shower in, helping out. So my idea was to take that out, drill a hole in the back of here, and then put that screw back in. But with this roller inside of here, I just, I have no play to get a drill in here to get that done. So I'm gonna leave that screw. We're gonna go ahead and put this up. We're gonna take the tape off. I have my line marked. What you're going to want to do is put this up against the wall where you want it. You're going to mark your bottom down here where the little rod's going to go in. And you're going to line that up. You're going to want to put a level up against this. Check for level. And while it's level, when you have it level, go ahead and take a pencil and draw a line on your shower. So as you go to peel off the tape now, you can use that pencil line to go ahead and get that lined up. Once we have that stuck on the wall, we're gonna run, well, I already did it, but you're gonna to wanna to take a line and come down here. Okay. And you're gonna to wanna to have this on the edge of your pencil right here. And I have a line going all the way across to where I have the other side going to start. So we're gonna get this side up. We're gonna put the other side up and I probably will screw the other side in because I have access on that piece to get these screw holes through it and uh, we'll continue on. We'll cut our pipes. Keep going. Okay, so we got this side up looking good. We went over and measured this side and I went ahead and drilled a hole here and I drilled a hole here. I took out those two screws that were in the wall that kind of hold the shower in place kind of tight. And uh, just to test, make sure my holes were good, I went ahead and put the screws in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and back these out. I'm gonna take this adhesive off, put the adhesive off, and then put these two screws in, and we will be done with this side. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two screws back in and hold the shower against the, into the wall a little bit. Okay. By the way, if you guys like the video, we'd appreciate it. Get that like button. And if you like RV videos on maintenance, DIY projects, uh, product reviews, anything RV related, go ahead and subscribe to our channel because we have tons of videos and all kinds of things like that. Now, when you order these, the top and earth don't come to the exact length. You're gonna to wanna to order a little bit longer than your shower. So you're gonna to wanna to measure from wall to wall ahead of time. And when you order, make sure you order the one that's just a little bit bigger. 
we're going to run a tape measure from here into here and then you know these just pop out of here so after we get our measurement we'll mark it we'll cut it off we'll stick it up into this end and then we'll take our cap we'll stick it on this end and pop it back in place and you have to do that for the top and the bottom i would recommend take pulling a measurement for the top and don't just assume the bottom's the same measure both and then you can just cut this with a little hand hacksaw and that's what we're going to do right now we had 42 inches you want to take about a quarter inch off of that to get it in there nice so we're going to cut about 41 and three quarters inch okay Okay guys, that's it. Project's finished. Went ahead and just cut the top bar and the bottom bar to length. There's some little white tabs on the door that you just pop into the track up here. Once you get those in, go ahead and don't forget to put your set screw in, the top and the bottom to hold it all together. And uh, you're all set to go. Now we do have to caulk all around this yet. On the instructions it talks about just caulking on the outside of the shower, but Honestly, I'm going to do the outside and the inside because if I don't do the inside, I'm just going to get the water to go behind and underneath everything. And it's going to just end up going under here, sitting under here. And I'm going to have the same nasty problem that we had last time with water just building up underneath here. So I'm going to caulk the inside and the outside all around. I'll probably use the Lexel caulk, which I like a lot for indoor and even outdoor. I'll put a link to that uh, below if you want to check that on Amazon. We'll also have links to the websites. You can check out these shower doors. They have a few different colors, different models. Uh, I expect about a two week delivery time for these to come in. So just keep that in mind. I don't think they do any returns. So make sure you do your measuring correctly, get everything set that you want beforehand. Now I will say, I don't really see too many cons to this compared to what we had going on with the glass doors. It's just, there's so much room to get in and out now. There's much more room by the sink with it being totally open. Before you had those glass doors coming all the way over here and it just made everything feel more closed in. Again, they were heavy, noisy. I've heard people having break going down the road. You know, this whole system weighs maybe about six, seven pounds versus the 50 plus pounds we had when we just took out those doors. So, and the best thing is you're not cleaning that door anymore. This has a self patented little cleaning and squeegee on the back end here. So every time you close the door, it squeegees the water and dries itself off. And this is supposed to be a special kind of antibacterial um, that doesn't allow any kind of mold or mildew to build up. So no more harsh chemicals or scrubbing down shower doors and hard water stains and all that stuff that goes with that too. No more nasty shower track down there. I honestly don't know why the RV industry is not really switching over to these right from the get go because it just seems like a better idea. I think it would be cheaper than the heavy glass doors. And we'll probably go ahead and revisit this product down the road after we've been using it for a little while. Just to let you guys know what you know what we really think about it after we've had some time to check it out and see how it's really holding up as always guys appreciate you stopping by checking out the channel and get out there start your full-time rv adventure because my way we'll see you next time and and that's and of course that's what it sounds like when the washing machine is going just another reason that these things can start sort of drive us crazy <laughs> In case you're wondering why the camera's moving too.